Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I've been noticing that you guys are still asking a little bit of the same questions about asking if I can drive or do I drive and things like that. And yeah, I, I, I could drive. Um, you know, I, I travel a lot, so unfortunately I don't get to drive as much as I want to. But um, what I'm going to do today is just to take you and demonstrate, you know, how I drive. I have some extensions that come up off the pedals uh, so that I drive just like you do uh, with my foot on the gas and foot on the brake. So uh, let's go in and uh, see how I do it. Okay, you guys ready for an adventure? Let's go for a ride. <laughs> As you can see, um, I have some minor damage to my car. And I'm sure you're wondering how that happened. Well, let me explain. Uh, I think it was a year ago or two years ago, I went to E3. The parking structure where I was at, it was really tight. There was a wall here. I didn't want to park there, so uh, I parked and then I changed my mind. So I went to back out. And little did I know that I turned the wheel this way and the front end came out and scraped against the wall. So you can see the damage. Uh, some of it will buff out, <laughs> but not all of it. Um, Cause I got some dings. This is all bent up. Uh, so yeah, what are you gonna do? At least I didn't hit anybody. Uh, I just hit a wall. Okay, so obviously, as you can tell, I can drive. Uh, just drive like anybody else, gas, brake. It's just all extended up with the, these extensions that, you know, actually my dad made for me. And as you can tell, I'm sitting on a giant pillow. <laughs> as you can see, the S5 uh, has like a racing steering wheel um, at the bottom of it. If you can take a look, it's flat. So that helps me with my legs going underneath uh, the steering wheel. So uh, that's always good. Now I'm just gonna, gonna take you around the block. I'm not gonna go too fast. Uh, I don't wanna scare anybody. And you know, since I'm, I'm sitting up so close to the steering wheel, I had to have the airbag disabled uh, because if it went off like this, I'd be toast. <laughs> uh, so luckily, you know, I was able to get that done. Also, you know, I had my car lowered. It's not necessarily lowered because it would be easier for me to get in, but it is. But I didn't do it for that reason. I did it for a more sporty look. Uh, so uh, yeah, it just looks better. And um, for you kids out there, when you're driving, Always use your turn signal, because if you don't use it, people like me get upset when you cut them off. So don't cut people off, use your turn signal. You know, when I'm at home and not traveling, you know, I do enjoy driving, uh, and I unfortunately I can't do it as much as I'd like. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of my previous, well, my uh, previous video that I did. I actually took this car out on a racetrack and, um, you know, raced it around the racetrack just to show, you know, you guys that I can drive. So when I first got started in the industry, I was living in Texas at the time. And uh, basically for me to come out here to work, uh, you know, I would fly out with my extensions and my pillow uh, and, you know, I'd, I'd have to rent a car. And it's not that hard to put them on or take them off. It takes like 15, 20 minutes sometimes with minor adjustments here and there for a different car. Um, and, uh, you know, I would just rent a car at the airport, uh, have it for that week or two weeks or however long, you know, I was in L.A. And, uh, you know, that's how I got back and forth. Uh, you know, it's kind of a necessity to have a car when you're in L.A. because it's so widespread. So it's definitely a benefit to rent a car if, if you can. <laughs> Stay tuned for my next video. Um, I'm gonna take you to a grocery store. Uh, we're gonna buy the ingredients for my favorite sandwich. It's a breakfast sandwich, but you can have it anytime. And uh, I'll show you how it's made. <laughs> 